Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Does your identity determine your, your character? That's a good question, Pastor Evan. But does your identity determine your character? It does. I'm going to tell you it does. And Jesus is setting for us an identity. I'm blessed. So if we say it, do you really feel it? Do you feel blessed today? See, because that's what Jesus is asking us. Uh, uh, test comes in cycles. And did you know that every time you're tested, whatever area you're tested in, usually it's the weakest spot of who you are? You ever notice that, that you always have the same problem going on in your life? It's because you're weak in that area. So you keep going through the same problem, and, and Jesus is looking, saying, I'm, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed. You can overcome, you can overcome. You're, you're more than a conqueror. You're the head and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. You're, you're all of these things, and he keeps asking us to grow in that one little area. He's asking us, and I wonder how many of us have said no. Let me just say it like that. Because you don't, we, we, we constantly say no. We go through the cycle, and 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 you think after 11 times, that's what the average, the average person to learn a new thing, it takes 11 times for you to try something before you actually can get better at it, okay? I'm not going to say you're professional at it, but, but how many of us have been in mourning for over 11 cycles? How many of us have... Uh, been through the merciful cycle. You know where we're supposed to have mercy on someone when we don't really want to have mercy on? How many of us have been through the, the, the comfort, right? The pure heart, the, the peacemaker. The, you know, all of these things are characteristics that God is trying to build in our lives. Amen? See, see we had the Ten Commandments. Jesus is sitting on the, on the, on the revolutionary page turn, okay, from the Ten Commandments to putting characteristics inside of us. He's trying to teach us about the law going into our heart instead of being read somewhere else, right? The shalls and not, and the I sh thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt, all those, all those uh, Ten Commandments that we know, those, those characteristics, and it's, it's funny that it's, a, it's the number eight, because eight is the number of a new beginning, right? It's, a, it's the beginning of something brand new. Jesus is on the verge of something new. He sat there down that day on the mountain, just like Moses went up the mountain to get the Ten Commandments to bring them down to the children of Israel, Jesus was sitting on a mountain that day speaking stuff into hearts all over the world that day, bringing something down from the mountain to us. Amen? <laughs> I, I like it that he, he kind of speaks it in third person too because he said, blessed are ye, blessed are ye, right? Blessed are they, blessed are theirs. And he kept using all these third-person terms because most of us, if we're really honest, struggle with those same characteristics even yet today. I've been serving the Lord for 43 years. And I've been, I've been, I've been going to church the whole time. <laughs> and I still struggle, okay? And I still struggle just like you. I have struggles just like you. I'm not perfect. I'm, I, I wish I could stand here this morning and say, you know what? I got it all right. It's all going right in my life. But it isn't all going right in my life. But you know what? I can still trust that in the process of whatever God is doing, I will, I will lay hold of the promise. Amen? Because I am blessed this morning. I am blessed. What, it, what, what, what happens in the middle of stuff in your life, in the middle of circumstances, is really, it, it really just speaks to the condition of your heart this morning. So if you want God to change your situation, let him change your heart so that you can become who you weren't before the circumstance. Amen? 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 My God still delivers. My, my God still sets free. My God still breaks chains this morning. My God still, still delivers. My God still raises the dead this morning. My God still heals, heals broken hearts this morning. My God still turns minds and circumstances around. My God is the healer of relationships today. Amen? We can get excited about that. But I'm blessed. I just want you to know you're blessed this morning. You're blessed. You're blessed. Maybe you should walk that out. Come on, that's a promise spoken today. That's a promise spoken by Jesus himself from a, on a hill far away, somewhere in some place that I've never been before. And he spoke that promise to me. He spoke it to you. I want to live it out. I want to be full of a room. I want to be in the middle of a bunch of people that really believe that they're blessed.
They really identify with that this morning. And, and, then, and then they know that shall, that shall, that, that Jesus kept referring to, that shall, it, that means, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm almost a lawyer, okay? But when shall is, is ever written, whenever you see the word shall, that means you're going to get it. That's, that's as good as gold right there. Amen. If it, if it says in any contract, shall, that means that you're going to get whatever that says. Amen. It might, you might have to wait a while. You might have to wait five years, ten years. Some of, them, some of them lawsuits take a long time. But I'm going to tell you, whenever it says shall, they're going to have to do it. It has to, it has to be. And I, I, I want to believe God for a has to be kind of thing in my life. Amen. He said I would be set free and I will be set free. He said I will be healed and I will be healed. Come on. And he said he, said he would deliver me. He will deliver me. He shall do it. Amen. He's going to break chains. We got keys this morning. Come on to locks. And God is opening new doors today. Shall represents faith to come. Faith to come. Amen. It's coming. <laughs> I could just say that right now. That's a faith statement right there. It's coming. Whatever's coming is it's coming. Jesus said it shall be and it will come in my life. 